All right, so we're not going to do uh, too much Zelt today. Where'd my headphones go? There they are. I'm not going to do too much Zelt since it is late and we played an entire game. But you know, I did want to get it started since uh, Link's Awakening is. Oh man, Link's Awakening is so good. I was. Uh... So after we did uh, Link to the Past and you know did some Link to the Past randomizer, which I want to get back to at some point. I haven't done uh, Link to the Past rando in quite some time. But after that, I was like, well, we got to keep going through the Zelda games, right? Awakening's next. And then right when I was about to you know, look into seeing how we could stream Link's Awakening, they announced the remake. And I said, you know what? Okay, we'll just put it off till September and uh, play the remake. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to leave the sound up for this as well, since the soundtrack is amazing. Right. Here we go. Oh, we got a jolt of internet instability. instability. I checked you. Missing the music there. I love the Dark and Stormy Night music from the original. Ah, too cute! Too cute. So if I'm remembering correctly, uh, according to the original game manual, this takes place after A Link to the Past. And Link's like, okay, yeah, no, I saved uh, Hyrule and all. Yeah, I'm just going to go on a trip. Go on vacation or something. And, you, know, you go sailing looking for a new realm. And lightning strikes. And this happens, and he winds up here. So let me just check something real fast. Let's see if the game still does this. So, the original, if you put your name in as Zelda, you got like a musical reward. Oh, that's a jam alert. Hmm. It's even better. Yes, this is what happened in the original, except, uh, better. Oops. Oh. Yeah, that's good stuff. Alright, uh... No, I've played Link's Waking a ton of times, so why don't we have a little bit of challenge to try out uh, Hero Mode. And if it's too much, uh, I'll just restart off-screen in a, uh... Easier version. No. <laughs> Script looks to be one to one as well. Nope, not Zelda. It's Marin. So Marin, uh, like technically, I guess she's only in this game. But uh, Marin and Terran are an awful lot like Malin and Talon from Ocarina of Time. Alright. 
task number one, go to the beach. Oh, it still makes the same sound effects, too. Now, Terran is a troublemaker. It's into mischief, much like Talon does. Aha! Oh, good. Okay, so I guess they change it so you don't have to equip the shield. That's a very good change. Yeah, there used to be a ton of, like, item management, especially with, uh, shield, sword. But uh, if they got dedicated yeah. buttons, that's excellent. That's a load time. I guess it's loading the entire island at once. Oh! Wow. Well, there's a uh, little debate over whether or not this aesthetic is good, but I think I can confirm that it is, in fact, good. So it's, it's broken up into areas, like, uh, Modern Zelda. Oh, you can set points on it as well. That's nice. Push is too strong, though. We can't, uh, can't lift it. But I want to go to Trendy Game. Oh, well. Alright, what else is around here? Flying rooster. Rip rooster. That's a good shop music. What's this now? Got shovel. But I just got extra copies of my shield. Piece of heart. Oh, I guess there's more pieces of heart. Helpful information. Oh, it's a good fog. It's a nice fog effect. Ah, oh, but it doesn't give me the message whenever I run into them. That's a nice change. the game yet. That's right, you need the sword first. <laughs> That's some serious hair he's got. Guess it's faithful to the Game Boy game, though. And he is, uh, honestly telling the truth about being lost in the hills later. Like, that's real. still in? Poor old man Lyra. Do it, Link. 
It's the bucket bells. I just, I've always, whenever, I've always wondered, like, where is the bucket bells? Where is he? Is he in the game? I remember when I was a kid, I used to, like, steadfastly believe, no, bucket mouse is real. Real, I tell ya. I'm having no, uh... I guess there's no screen transitions. I like it. It's neat. And I, love, I, I like the uh, the blur effects on the side. I, they use something like this in Octopath Traveler as well, and it was fantastic. That game is beautiful, Octopath Traveler. Oh well. Is Bow Wow gonna like destroy me? My pet Bow Wow? Cow chow. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sneezing. It's Adam Meow Meow, huh? Adam Meow Meow looks a little different than I remember. Do you have fur? Like, is that real? I don't know. Alright, so we've got a mysterious well. In a mysterious forest. Goblins, notably not friendly. Kiddo, the fist of the North Star child. Alright, so I need to remember to be careful here. Because I am playing hero mode and there won't be any hearts. See that? Okay. I guess. Oh, I'm good. There's this one. Yeah, I want to read it. Alright, so we'll just have to keep that in mind. Have to get a magnifying lens at some point. Okay, Wanda Trues. Hey, okay. Yeah, here's a dungeon. Uh, this game has eight of them. It's pretty ambitious for a Game Boy game. Like, uh, what's it called? Link of the Past had what? Eleven? Uh, Twelve, counting the castle, I guess. Yeah, Seven Dark World, Ganon's Tower, Three Light World, and Aghanim's Place. Hyrule Castle, rather. I see they, uh, they fixed the spelling error. So in the original, there's, uh, it says like T-A-L-E keyhole. Get me, Doctor Rock. You gonna get me? Don't touch these. Old spikes. Ooh. 
Oh, these guys. Right here. Well, that's nice. <laughs> he even left a little trail in the sand. Alright, so here's the beginning of a Zelda tradition. Of the owl that tells you things. I named him Frakes. Frakes the owl. Is it possible that a courageous lad has come to wake the windfish? No. Ryder made it up. Yeah, I love the new, uh, new version of the owl song. That's, that's real good. Alright, let's sort up. Best show on television. I love when they sample the Game Boy sounds. That's fantastic. that in the back of our minds. Yeah, we'll meet a new friend. <laughs> That's right. It's Sale. The crocodile who loves... Canned food and bananas. This game has a lot of really strange characters in it. They're all very memorable, though. I love what they did to his house, too. Feels like it's uh, like a diorama. It's very appropriate for this game, I think. Uh oh, gone. Let's uh, do a little bit of stuff in the village first. Like cut down all the grass. find out about that thing. quite a bit later. And they did a really good job with the, this song as well. grass anyway. It's dead now. I wonder if you can... Can you cut signs? Okay, no. No sign destruction. <gasps> grass is... It's back! That is some really powerful grass. <laughs> it's 
power over animals. I love Ballad of the Windfish. I was a little sad when it showed up in uh, Majora's Mask. It sounded nothing like this. Uh, give the trendy game a shot. Alright, we got a Yoshi doll. Yeah. Trendy game! <laughs> I'm terrible at trendy game now. Man. It used to be automatic. Automatic. I just don't have it anymore. Oh well. What I do have... Piece of heart. That'll heal you. Ooh. That's good cave music. Well done with the cave music. Now, I'm expecting something real good out of the Mysterious Forest. That's a good track. I hope it'll, uh... still be good. One more out first. Is it possible for one forest to contain all of an island's mystery? Yes. Thanks, Freaks. It's a little hand -holdy, but it is nice to uh, have something that tells you like what you need to do. It's like here in the Mysterious Woods, you can, uh... Oh, nice. Okay, so you can just... You just look up the owl speeches whenever you want. <laughs> oh, no, this is great. That's a great feature. go through this door, though. Oh, it didn't. Ah, yep, yep. That's fine. We didn't need that guardian acorn anyway. Heal though. Let's go uh, heal. I happen to know that there is a fairy fountain. Oh, I like the 
Fairy Fairies. That's a cute design. Sensitive. This guy. That's an evil laugh. Ah, <laughs> uh, no! Now, one thing I really liked is in the original game, like when you went by, it made this boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it takes you over here where the fairy is. that that cave entrance was supposed to be like a tree, tree trunk. Just, that never occurred to me. Yeah, it is up here too. Oh, how did I never realize that? Let's head through this cave. Fight some bats. Kill some crystals. Daddy has crystals. Very nice. Now we can play the trendy game five times. Six times. They still do the screen based stuff while you're in caves. This makes sense. A little weird to only have it be in caves, but it makes. Yeah, I get it. Kind of like the overworld being all one thing. Piece of power, way better than Guardian Acorn. It speeds you up and you do uh, massive damage. Yeah, I think there's a speedrun trick that lets you like, get over here and skip doing Mushroom Quest. We're not going to do that. We're going to do Mushroom Quest. Love the nature sounds, too. That's perfect. Back here with power bracelet. Oh, that's unexpected. I guess they changed. The I guess they changed the uh, number of enemies you have to kill to get a piece of power. Given this is the only real source of healing, I'm gonna, uh... Please. From the original, the animation there, uh, she just, like, sends out a circle of hearts. Like, the actual heart pickup. I like the original animation. Alright, so we're trying to get over here to this chest. We gotta get past the raccoon. His nose is sensitive to stuff like dust and powder.
go. Got a friendly witch. Okay, you come stuck back here. Are you the bucket mouse? Is it you? says. She asked us to use some. Okay, you still get 20. That's good. The powder is uh, your source of lighting stuff. Well, that's nice. You can just come back and buy more. Alright, so you can do a lot of neat stuff with powder. And one of the things you can do is mess with these guys. And talk to them. <laughs> Change. Blow up. What else do you have to say? Not look this. Our magic. Literally. Literally magic. This is very different. But, you know, one, he doesn't actually have lips, and two, even if he did, I don't want to know what he wants to do with him. kind of goofy coming back here and healing all the time, but I'm also thinking a little more uh, strategically about how I fight things instead of just mashing buttons like I would normally do playing the Game Boy game. Troublemaker yeah. Terran. Eating weird mushrooms in the forest and turning into raccoons. about a dungeon. Can we do a dungeon? I think you can do a dungeon. It's getting a little late, but... It'll be fine. Unless I don't know how to do the dungeon. Or they've changed anything. Probably not. This looks like a pretty faithful recreation of Link's Awakening. Check out uh, do a little more of this first, though. Yeah. Gotta have my revenge on the trendy game. Yeah. Trendy game. Oh, you can get powder here as well. Yeah, looks like pain, though. a disaster. This one uh, also did not go well. It's a little weird, because I'm so used to the timing on uh, Game Boy game. Different here. 
Definitely not what I look like in Akihabara. Yashi, please. Yashi. Yes. Winning. Uh, yeah. Let's get the piece of heart too while I'm at it. Now, in the original game, is not a piece of heart here. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Oh! Yes. My goodness. It's kind of clonks on the floor. Oh, that's good. I will uh, win my prizes. <laughs> oh, there's so there's a lot of Nintendo stuff that just shows up in this game, and it's great. I mean, obviously Bow Wow is a chain chomp, and Yoshi's here. And there's even more to come. Before we go see the mother, I want to check the here real fast, see if they started selling bombs yet. Didn't. So I guess you have to beat the first dungeon before you can get bombs. Yep. Unfortunate, because there's a bomb of a wall in there. Uh. Uh. Alright, we can indeed trade our ribbon for something else. Remember, there was that uh, tiny Bow Wow called Chow Chow. That one had accessories. I'm gonna trade for this canned dog food. It's a cute dog picture. I think we know who to give that can to as well, right? We talked to Sale, we know of his tastes and proclivities, as it were. Mm. A little fishing in too. Not Zeld. Will you fish? change that. Normally he'd tell you that, you know, have a little passion. Live a little. Right, so I think we should go and deliver that food first. Then we will head to the dungeon. Well, he'll eat us if we don't. Kinda. Of. 
<laughs> yep, still eats it can and all. It's gotta hurt. Can't be good for the digestion. Alright, so that's all the trading we can do for now. It'll be a while uh, before we can do anything with those bananas. Let's get bananas next time we go to the store. Love me some banana. Now I got a tiny thing for uh, frying eggs, but it's so tiny that I can't flip them properly. It's kind of a pain. I gotta learn how to like do the fancy thing where you like do the flick of the wrist flip kind of thing. Mm. Uh, this was developed by Grezzo, the people who did Link's Awakening for uh, no, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D. Oh, I didn't realize these were Buzzy Beetles. Another Mario enemy. Dungeon's boss is called the Nightmare. Is uh, just keep that in mind. Let's take a look. Boss up here. Hmm. A little more detailed on the map. Like it. Each dungeon, by the way, has its own theme, which is a nice. Or a nice uh, thing introduced in this game to the series. That's that good sound, that key sound. This dungeon isn't super long. The first one, after all. Okay, um, let's go this way. Oh, that's nice. That good map action, excellent. So here's where the bomb of a wall is that we can't get through. Much more detailed map. The original just showed you where the rooms were. Fire guys, but I guess they're electric. They are a real pain. Ooh, that's not good. Presumably, you won't get hearts from this either. Statues instead of the tablets. 
kind of like the original. But like, between DX and the original game, the original game had stone tablets with, like, pieces missing. But the DX version had the owl statues. I guess it was, what, 1998 when DX came out? So it was post... Post Ocarina of Time, and the owl had become kind of a mainstay of Zelda at the time. Oh, we already missed the best ending. That's fine. You know, since that's the case, we'll go the other way this time. Hit left. Out of this room. Should have kept my shield up a little more, I guess. Nice if we could blow this up, but no bombs allowed yet. Move a square block. Why don't we? Alright. They changed a little bit. Yeah, I guess these are spiky buzzy beetles now. They, uh, they certainly didn't look like that in the original. And that is what that hint refers to. Goombers! <laughs> Look at those smug faces on these Goombas. They're dead, though. Alright, so the Rock's Feather is so cool. This is the first time that uh, Link could jump in a top-down Zelda game. I guess there was only Zelda and, and uh, Link to the Past that were top-down before this. But he was only able to jump in uh, Zelda 2. Which was, of course, not particularly... Uh, not an example that was followed in the future. Oh, you know, that's right, the uh, the floating hearts aren't here either. I guess they don't show up because of hero mode. And the jumping feels a little different. But it's workable. Make it work. don't need the piece of power, but I'll take it anyway. So yeah, in addition to doors that are locked, there are also these blocks that you have to use keys to get rid of. They're kind of neat. Alright, 
got our boss key, whoops, or in this case the nightmare key. Let's go fight a boss. Ah, our boost ran out. Unfortunate. Well, I guess it's mini boss time first though. All the speed makes the splash down. That's fantastic. Perfectly gross. Oh, we don't even get a fairy. Man, hero mode's not messing around. Alright, so. Oh, we still have the hanged prisoners. Yeah, we don't want to be down here. This is not a good place to be. But, uh, this is what happens if you fall out of the boss arena. Fall out of the boss arena? Why? Could it be? That dastardly fight from Link to the Past has returned? Oh, yes. Moldorn. It's back. Oh, well, they changed the room. Nice. So this used to be like, uh, all... See, all these cracked blocks? They were just pits. See how the music sounds, though. Swamp. Path opens in the bloom. Yeah, after you beat each dungeon, you get a hint as to where the next one is. The next one is in a swamp. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back to town and call it night. But first, more owl. We're collecting the instruments of the sirens in this game. <laughs> Frakes the Owl has some difficulty telling fact from, fact from fiction. So we gotta get the band back together. Because we're on a mission from God. Oot indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Frakes. We can jump this now to get the feather. Uh-oh. What's happened? Oh man, <laughs> it's so serious the text box is shaken. Oh no, not the moblins. Whole gang of moblins. Be messing with Bow Wow. Alright, what's happened? There's Bow Wow. Dogging out by moblins, oh no! Alright, well 
that'll be our next, uh... The next thing to do. <laughs> got, got the good fart trumpets going. Why don't we, uh, why don't we do that? Everything checks out. You say, yep, it's a chest. It's a really nice chest. Alright, so we'll get our marching orders from Alira. He wants us to call him on the phone. Oh my god, this is an amazing remix. Demo, of course, means phone. <laughs> Alblins live in the mysterious forest, but somewhere in the cave of Tautal Heights. Yep. That is super catchy. Well, uh, we've got our marching orders. We know where to go. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and save. Save. Oh, they save the rip too. And uh yeah. I think that'll do it for me tonight. Alright, so I don't know what my weekend plans are right now. I probably have plans at least one of the nights. Uh but I'd like to finish Astral Chain soon. And we can play some more Zelda. It'll be good. I think, uh, I think Code Vein comes out this week as well. So we should be finishing Astral Chain uh, kind of just in time. And the weather's getting cooler as well, which means that uh, some afternoon streams on the weekend might be possible. We can get through the rest of Final Fantasy III. It'd be nice to finish that. I hate not finishing things. It drives me crazy. Well... Uh, thanks for coming out tonight. I hope you enjoyed our uh, psychedelic dream stream between Sayonara Wild Hearts and Link's Awakening. I don't know if the Wild Hearts stream is ever going to make it to YouTube or be something you can listen to on Twitch. I, I don't know what the, uh, the copyright situation of that's going to be. Uh, but if you're here for it and you saw it, fantastic. And if not, and you can you can get it, and it like you should play Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's it was amazing. And uh, Link's Awakening was pretty amazing, too. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.